Hey everyone, so let's talk about the pros and the cons of the 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus. So that is the one with the 3 gigs of RAM, not only the 2. So, the first we're going to start off with some cons. And the first one here is gaming. Uh, so it can game. It doesn't really have any issues gaming, so to speak. But the one thing you will notice in games, so here is Call of Duty Mobile. And you will see here... The graphic quality can only go up to a medium, frame rate can go up to a high. So on other devices, on higher end devices, you'll get, you know, you'll get, of course, high graphics, you'll get the super high, you'll get the, uh, a lot better graphics on it. Uh, so one con of this little guy is that for games, you may or may not get the greatest of graphics, and most likely you're not going to. Most games are going to play on either low or medium. And then with low or medium frame rate. So that's one bad thing. But again, it can actually game. Another thing that is not so good, and I have just recently learned this, is that you cannot get all apps on this little guy. So you can get Google Play Store, as I have right here. I'll show you guys. So today somebody asked me if you can play Pokemon... Masters on here, and when you look up Pokemon or even type in Pokemon Masters, you'll see that it actually does not come up. You have Pokemon Go, you can play Pokemon Training Card Game, Monster Masters, but there's no Pokemon Masters. Even if you go to the go to Google and you try to download it off of Google itself, you cannot get it. Uh, this device is just not compatible with that. Another thing you cannot get on here is like. I love using offer up all the time. And again, you just it just does not on here. It's just not on here. You have Makari, Retail Me Not. Uh this one which I thought was it, because it has the same icon or very similar icon. Uh so there's just certain apps that even with the Google Play Store downloaded on this device, you cannot get the certain apps on here. Uh they, they would be able to get on other not Amazon devices. Number three is the speed and power. So again, this isn't like you cannot do things fast on here as you can. Uh, it isn't actually that bad on speed, but it's again, not as quick as other higher end devices are going to be, of course, which of course makes sense here. But it's something to keep in mind when you're looking at this guy. So if I can actually type, we'll type in Pokemon.com. So it'll just take uh, maybe a couple of seconds faster loading the loading websites. Uh, can take again, take maybe 10, 15 seconds slower loading games like Call of Duty Mobile. And say your devices that cost three, four, five times this price, which again is of course to be expected, but again it is something to keep in mind. Even when compared to the 2019 Amazon Fire HD 10, when it is loading websites like this, it is a little bit slower than that device is. And that's just because the processor is not as good in the HD 8 Plus as it is in the 2019 Amazon Fire HD 10. So you got to keep that in mind uh, that because this is a lower end device, it's a good lower end device, don't get me wrong. But still is a lower end device, it's still a cheaper device. It's just not gonna be as good as say like even your base iPad that costs you know three times this amount. And then number four here is you can do multitasking in a way. So you can of course go back and forth. And the good thing about this is you do have three gigabytes of RAM, and as you see there, it actually keeps most apps it'll keep open without really any issues, which is actually better than the 2019 Amazon Fire HD 10. But what you cannot do, and maybe you guys can correct me here, uh, maybe there's an app you can use for this, but you cannot have multiple apps open on the same screen. So you know, I cannot have like Silk Browser over here and have say Google Play Store over here, or have two of the Silk Browsers, you know, one on either side. So you cannot do that type of multitasking but again, you can switch between the uh, between apps pretty seamlessly. But again, you can only have one app on the screen at a time. Uh, but again, though, with that three gigabytes of RAM, 
you actually can keep multiple apps open at the same time. It just again, you cannot keep them open on the same screen. You know, so again, you can have two apps open on the screen. Um, that again goes along with Amazon Fire HD 10. You cannot do it. That's just an Amazon thing. You just cannot do it. So again, it may be something to keep in mind if you are maybe a student or someone that has to have multiple apps open on the same screen at the same time. Uh, and even if you could, this is a only an eight inch screen, so it's not very big. So now let's talk about some pros. So biggest one is going to be, well, biggest two is going to be price and, and the RAM. The RAM we just talked about, it is awesome. It has three gigabytes of RAM. It is actually way better than the non plus version of the same device. Uh, so RAM is amazing. Again, you can keep multiple apps open, uh, be, and then shuffle through them and you really have no issues. I mean, I think before I've had like 10 apps open uh, and switch between them and it'll, it'll maybe take a second to, to get back into it, but it doesn't actually reload itself. So then number two, there is price. So even when it is on normal pricing, the one you see here, which is just has 32 gigabytes of storage, is only uh let's see it's only a hundred and ten dollars. So that's very cheap. Again, get the base model iPad, you're talking about 330 bucks. So way difference in price. Right now, at the time of making this video, Best Buy has this guy on sale, again the 32 gigabyte model, for only seventy five dollars. That is crazy. Any other device that's seventy five bucks is probably gonna be very, very crappy. And again, this device is actually pretty, pretty good. Like this is actually a rather good device for $110, let alone $75. And then if you want to, you can get a 64 gigabyte model of this guy. Uh, the only difference is, of course, the storage is double. That is on sale for $105, uh, which is $5 cheaper than the base price of the 32 gigabyte one, uh, normally $140. So pricing is very good on this. It's it just crazy. I mean, you know, it's a uh, normally price. It's a third of an iPad base model iPad. Uh, then to that, that storage is expandable. I believe it's up to a terabyte micro SD. So on like, again, on like the iPad, you can actually expand that storage if you want to or need to. So pricing is just crazy good on this. Again, anything else in this price range is not going to be as good. Uh, number three is going to be portability. Of course, being an eight inch device, this thing is super portable. You know, you can just, you can just take it and go and you guys can't see anything now. You know, you, you can just take this device and you can go anywhere you want. Uh, take it into the bathroom with you. It's not going to take up your entire lap. <laughs> um, you know, put it on a counter. Yeah, it's not going to take up much room. Uh, maybe if you use it for school and you have a tiny little desk, it's not going to take up as much room as a laptop or even like the 10 point, uh, even the, even the 10 inch version of Amazon's devices. So portability, of course, just like any other small tablet is, is very good. And then number four is actually the Bluetooth capabilities. So you can hook this thing up to any Bluetooth keyboard. You can hook this thing up to the Bluetooth controllers. So in the past, I've hooked it up to my my Microsoft Xbox One controller, and I was able to play uh, Call of Duty Mobile on it. Have no issues. So the Bluetooth is awesome. So again, you can hook it up to pretty much anything that is Bluetooth. Uh, of course, other you can hook it up to Bluetooth external speakers. Uh, work just fine. Yeah, so there is a, of course, non-exhausted list of pros and cons of this guy. Uh, I think the more important thing are the cons. There is something to keep in mind. But again, for this price, they're, the cons are very, very minor, in my opinion. Um, but if you do need something that is very powerful, you're probably not going to be looking at this in the first place. But if you do need something more powerful, you're going to have to look elsewhere. Um, but for normal use, this thing is fantastic, and I absolutely love mine. Um, it's also made of plastic, so if you drop the thing, it might get scratched, but it's not going to shatter like a glass tablet would, uh, like an iPad or the Samsung's. So, 
what let me know what you guys think what are some more pros and cons of this device do you have one do you like it again i love mine for an eight inch device i really do like it uh i think it's a fantastic little device especially now for 75 bucks that's just crazy even for 110 dollars, like i paid for it when it first came out still a very good deal uh very cheap and again anything else in this price range is probably not gonna be as good i've tried out other devices and they're just not as good as Amazon's are. I absolutely love my Amazon devices. Uh, as long as you're not trying to do anything too, too crazy on it. So, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I do appreciate you watching this. And you guys have a good one. See you guys next time. Goodbye.